Whew. Finally time to take off. Yeah. Turn your phone off, man. Oh, uh, no, no. Just let me finish this game really quick. You can't just... You can't wait for you to finish your game. Turn your phone off. No, man. No. <laughs> Well, they're gonna be coming. Oh, here, look at him. Now they're coming. Turn your phone off, Ryan. No, I'm not turning my phone off. You know what? I'm gonna set this plane on fire. How oh about my that? God, is it noon? <laughs> yeah, it's noon. Let's light this bitch. And this good vlogs from the U.S. And thanks for staying up till noon. Yes, thanks for that. Thanks for staying up till noon. My name is Ryan. My name is Corey. Good intro. Good intro. Yeah, if you guys want to send your intros, please do. We'll tell you how to do it at the end of the episode, though. But yeah, what a little fun little intro we had there. That's right. Turn your phone off. <laughs> yeah, turn your phone off. That's just, If you have your phone on right now, just turn it off. Unless you're watching us on your phone. And don't threaten to burn uh, the plane down. It doesn't work out well. Well, well, well. It doesn't work out well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to get right into it. So this episode is Things Not to See on an Airplane. So yes, Things Not to Say on an Airplane. We're going to get right into it. Sources for this episode are randomfacts.5.com, randomfacts.5.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it away here. Things Not to Say on an Airplane. The first one here is I Will Always Love You. Why can't you say it? Yeah, why not? Let's find out. Turns out that singing passionately is also a no-no while rocketing through the clouds. A recent American Airlines flight traveling from Los Angeles to New York was forced to make an emergency landing in Kansas City in uh, order to kick off a passenger who refused to stop singing the Winnie Houston hit song, The Bodyguard. Come on. Why is up? You gotta know you can pull that song. You gotta be able to sing it before you I wonder start singing it. I wonder, wonder why she wouldn't stop. Like... Uh, I don't just, know. Just, Probably crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that would be annoying. Like, yeah, you know, like if people were like, "Please stop!" Like, yeah. we don't want you to sing anymore. And just couldn't stop. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> That'd be nuts. Another one here, and uh, it's what Ryan was doing at the beginning, and it's uh, saying, "I just want to finish my game on your cell phone." Um, even celebrities aren't immune to this one, which is pretty surprising since they're so much better than the rest of us, right? Ha, no. <laughs> but while aboard a New York-bound American Airlines flight that had yet to take off from LAX, 30 Rock star Alec Baldwin was removed from the aircraft after refusing to turn off his phone because he was in the middle of a killer game of words with friends <laughs> with Tracy Morgan. But what was, he, what was he supposed to do? Just leave Tracy Morgan hanging there? Like, yeah. Come on, that's just bad etiquette. I mean, I mean, I'll, the I'd thing is, it too. is, is Word with Friends is it's not like a game that you just play nonstop. You take turns. Yeah, just wait until you. Yeah, wait until you get back. Like, like wait until you land. There's no time limit. Like, yeah. uh, that's pretty yeah, funny. Turn your phone off. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't play games on the on the plane. <laughs> Next one here is I'm getting out of here. <laughs> just like makes a lot of sense. You don't want to say I'm getting out of here. Arguably, an airplane is the most inopportune place to suddenly decide you want to leave. <laughs> it's a giant metal massive, box flying. Massive panic attack. Yeah, it's a massive giant metal box flying at 500 miles per hour, and its ability to stay in the air hinges largely on its complete the fact that it's completely sealed. Like you don't want to. Duh! Come on. Yeah. Just skip. come on. Why do you have to even say that, Ryan? Like... That didn't stop one passenger <laughs> on Alaskan Airlines flight from Anchorage to Portland, though, as he decided mid-flight he was going to try and open the emergency exit. Ugh. He was subdued by passengers and crew members, and eventually got his wish to get off the plane though it was in the company of a more federal office than he likely preferred <laughs> he must have been like extremely terrified eh? like to try to want to jump out of a plane jump out of a plane like wow yeah i wonder what <laughs> leads somebody to do that another thing that you don't want to say is i'll set this plane on fire <laughs> that's kind of i mean obviously like <laughs> should, should i ever be mentioning this one like, yeah i kind of think you do <laughs> but let's do it again this is a statement you generally want to avoid um, but considering the inescapability of an airplane, it's definitely pretty high on the list of, of the worst places. A recent Egypt air flight from Cairo to New York was grounded in Scotland after a napkin was found that said, I'll set this plane on fire. <laughs> Authorities investigated and passengers weren't allowed to disembark until three hours after the plane had landed, which by that point they were probably all ready to set the plane on fire themselves because no they were kidding. Just, but yeah so it actually wasn't said but they found a napkin that a said napkin it so i mean and they take that stuff seriously obviously after 9-11 and everything yeah but, exactly <laughs> terrorism like, is a bad thing i wonder right? if they ever found who said that 
Oh, probably, probably not. Osama bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> the next, the last one here, and it's like, it's even more obvious than I'm going to set the plane on fire, is I poisoned everybody on board. <laughs> you don't want to say that on a plane. Why? Well, let's get into it. In all fairness, it's probably not the best idea to stand up and claim that you poison everybody in a public place. But an airplane is probably the worst yeah, exactly. like, of all public places. That's exactly what happened, though, during a recent United Airlines flight from Hong Kong to New York. New York, not New York. <laughs> Where the self-proclaimed bioterrorist was met by 10 officers who took him off the plane upon arrival in New Jersey. We're assuming he was not to be escorted to the airport Ramada. <laughs> so, yeah. Again... Another thing you don't want to yeah. do, like... Was he... Was he drunk? <laughs> no, he was... No. What else would you say that? He was pretty sober. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was me, guys. It was Bin Laden again. <laughs> it was Bin Laden. Bin Laden doesn't drink. Oh, he drinks. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's the end of this episode, but we also want to get into the next feature here, because I know a, guy, a couple guys have been waiting for this. Yeah, it's our mid-season... Mid-season mid show. Show. So <laughs> it's like our first episode of our mid-season, but we said before that we're going to give away a couple of things, so let's get right into it. Giveaway time, giveaway time. Hi ho the Dario, it's giveaway time. Hi ho the Dario, it's giveaway time. Yes, it's giveaway time. So as you guys may have uh, noticed, we were giving something away in the beginning of our season two here, um, which one of was a shirt or a hat and a mug of your choice, whether it be orange or black. And as well, second place was just going to get a shirt. Let's get um, the winners posted. Yeah, so it was all done on Gleam.io, so it's going to be randomly chosen. Just randomly choose it. <laughs> <laughs> all the people who have subbed and entered and liked and all that stuff. So, drum roll. Good drum roll. Yeah, hey. Good drum roll, right? We don't need to. We pay a lot <laughs> for this drum roll. So, the winners, because there's two winners, the winners are... Congratulations. Congratulations. So, first place winner, right there. Second place gets a shirt. And Second place only gets a shirt. Yeah, and if you're watching this on a device that does not display in that, it's in the it's description. It's in the description, yeah. You, oh, look. If you don't have a description on your device, then you should probably get a new device. Yeah, don't use YouTube. <laughs> don't use YouTube. But yeah, so these winners, all they have to do is just email us at contactedoptilldoon.com and say, hey, I want the shirt or hat and mug, or I want the shirt. And, and we'll verify yeah, through the email yeah, that you we've sent. We've got your email and, and everything, good. so... Get all this stuff, and we'll send it out to you. We'll get your information. You don't pay anything. You get it all free, so it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, and congratulations. Congratulations, and We guys. would love to see you send a picture. Yeah. And it's wearing, wearing your stuff. That'd be you, great. Using your stuff. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. So, yes. So, we've got the contest out of the way. So, end of the episode, guys. So, comment down below what you think of the episode. That's right. Like and share it, please. And congratulate the winners. Come yeah, on. Exactly. They won. So, yeah. congratulate them. But, yeah. As Corey was saying, share it. And don't forget to subscribe. Clicking the sun right here will do that for ya. That's right. And hashtagging UTN also spreads the love. And if you want to go to all of our other social media and you want quick access to it, how do you do that? Ooh, it's right there. Uptillnoon.com. And as well, a link to our merch shop. So yep. if you didn't win this, you can go buy it. You can buy it. Go yep. buy it. Um, as well as if you want to be part of the episode, like in the intro there, uh, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just upload and give us your best thanks for staying up till noon. And just uh, put it on your YouTube and name it Up Till Noon Intro Submission. We'll find it. We'll put you in an episode. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll get right. you in there. People will see you, visit your profile. You'll get like a million subscribers. Become famous. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that That's how it right. happens? Uh -huh. We like to get people subscribers. So that'd be cool if you guys did that. Don't we have to get back on the plane? <laughs> yeah, we, we got to get back gonna, on the plane, we're guys. We're going to miss our plane. <laughs> yeah, we got kicked off because I was playing a game and I was a set fire. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back on the okay. plane. Ready? Uh, thanks, thanks for staying up till noon. noon. Hey everybody, wasn't that a great episode? Click above me for our previous one. Check out the next episode, click right up here. Visit us on all of social media's finest platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and Snapchat username is up till noon. Click access to all those plus our merch, uptillnoon.com. See you tomorrow. 12 p.m. Central Time. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe.